Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Nizalea, and today it's another Tip Trick Tuesday. In today's Tip Trick Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to fade out music the right way. We're actually going to trim the end part of an actual song and just paste it a little bit shorter into that song. And we're gonna see how to find a method to actually make it flow together so you don't really hear that abrupt stop. So it's really interesting in video editing because most songs are like three minutes and an intense, interesting video is mostly around one minute. So you wanna trim that music up to one minute. So that's what we're gonna be seeing today. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro, but it's basically the same in every single editing software. Let's get started. All right, so here I am on a great website to find music. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna go and check it out. But I use this for almost all my projects, depending on what kind of project I'm working on. But the thing is, it's so easy to find great music that is completely copyright free, so you can use it for, for YouTube, for your own commercial projects, uh, which normal music doesn't allow you to do. So um, usually how I start on finding music is uh, by going to a mood or a video theme so here we can go to a mood we want to go for like a powerful theme uh, a video theme could be anything like uh, maybe we want to go for a road trip and we want to go for a specific genre we can do that here and yeah kind of search for that song but usually I also do something extra and that's going for any duration and I would actually go and search for a music in a very short duration. Sometimes you have a very limited choice of music when you're looking for a short video. So if you don't have that uh, solution, like on this website, because usually you're you're working with a specific kind of music track that you wanna trim down because your video is one minute long and your music is actually three minutes long, but when you would just fade a music out at the end, it sounds terrible, very unprofessional in my opinion. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly. So I'm just going to download the song from this website and after that I'll see you in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so I found my amazing track on Artlist and I will just drag this into my composition. I don't really have a video that goes along with it, but the basic principle here is to actually talk about the audio itself. So I'm going to let you hear a little fragment of this audio so you have an idea of what we're listening to. Okay, so that's really cool. I really like the vibe here. So let's say our video is one minute long. So here, right here at one minute, I wanna cut this video. I will delete the last part. And what a lot of people would do is go to effect, audio transition, and maybe go for an exponential fade, put it at the end and then zoom in and make this a little bit longer. So what we'll come up with then is something like this. And it's okay, but yeah, that's for me typically for a beginning editor. It just doesn't sound right. So what I like to do is I would like to undo everything here and I would put like a marker here at the end. So at one minute, so right here, I want to end my video. I did that with O, I made a selection of my one minute. And I will actually listen to the music a little bit beforehand. So right here I made it a little bit bigger for you guys so you can follow along pretty nicely. So what I'll do is kind of look in the song for references where we can uh, apply the cut. So there are plenty of different options, it really depends on the song. Sometimes you can cut like really right here and then fade it out. Sometimes you have to go and search a little bit sooner, like half a minute sooner or something like that. So what I will do now is actually I think right here is a good position because here she is still kind of building up to something. So I'm going to cut it over here and I'm going to listen here to see where we can replace that with. Okay, I think we can use this. It's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more intense. So I'm going to delete the middle part and put this below it and uh, we're going to try and match it up here. 
So I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to extend this layer so we can actually use references of the waveforms on top here. So I think that we have to match it out over here. And that will be a good one. Okay, I think that's gonna be a good one. Why do I think that? Well, I'm going to undo that quickly. Right here we have like a big spike in the uh, music, um, which is also happening over here. And we have this spike, which matches with this spike, this one with this one. So that's how I kind of try and look at my song and find matching waveforms, because usually that's the one that tells you um, that your song is going to match up. But of course, you have to listen to it. It doesn't work all the time with just listening to the waveforms. You really have to uh, try it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply an exponential fade. So it actually exponentially fades in here. And then right here, I'm going to apply a constant power uh, fade out. And let's have a listen. Okay, I kind of like this. I deleted my exponential fade here. Um, I'm going to trim it a little bit shorter. Let's see how that works. Mm, pretty. Okay, that's that's very nice. Let's have a listen. And we don't notice any kind of cut. So right here we are currently at 1 minute 20. If we want to shorten that down even more, I would kind of start over here. So I will bring this over. And again, I'm going to look at the waveform. So here we have a waveform, here we have one. So I'm going to drag this like over here. And I kind of think this matches up. We can use our time scrubber uh, to really be careful. Zoom in a little bit more and really do it perfectly. Okay, there we have it. And trim it here or actually right before the drop. And a constant power transition here. Let's have a listen. Perfect, so there we have it. And now we are right at one minute. So one minute with a few like times, um, yeah, seconds to fade out, but let's have a listen. And it matches the rhythm it doesn't maybe match the song with the lyrics because she was about to say something but it kind of breaks everything and it just matches in my opinion so this is a way on how to um yeah kind of make music match your video because a lot of people tend to think that you have a song and you have to make your video towards that song and make your video overly and, and that way make your video way too long. No, you have your video and you have to find a song that matches your video. It depends on the project, of course, but here you have a few ideas on how to make that song just match your scene and just make it shorter. Never ever, again, depending on a few details, but try to really avoid fading out music because this is something that bothers me a lot when I see a video. It doesn't end correctly. You should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Same goes with the video, same goes with the audio. Don't just fade it out. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.